Welcome Year 9, um, this is going to be the second video tutorial on how to use BandLab and this time it's going to be on how we can edit our samples that we've created. So um, when you log in, this is what you should see, you should see your class. So I'm on, currently on 9FB2, this is an example using 9FB2. Um, so if you are in 9FB3, please ask me for your linking codes if you do not have them and you haven't made an account or joined yourself to the class. You should be able to see other people in your class as well. Okay, so I'm going to show you how we're first going to access the assignment. So what you need to do is you can either click here on your class name or on your assignment name. And in your assignment, it shows you a full list of things that you need to do, assignment instructions, as well as usually a YouTube tutorial alongside so, it. Um, it says I've attached a piano loop in the key of C. It is 13 seconds long. The clip is labelled. So uh, I'm going to click start assignment. I need to make sure I've clicked teacher's assignment to access the assignment given to me. So, while it's loading, um, I would recommend to make sure that you try and use a computer when creating on BandLab. So assignment instructions. Please download the sample from the attachment. So I'm going to go to attachment. I'm going to click download and that will download for me. Make sure that the BPM is 70. So I'm going to go to where BPM is, which is here. Double click that, 70, and press enter. So that's BPM 70. I need to now drag and drop the sample onto BandLab itself. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the sample here, which I've got downloaded, drag and drop. Boom. That's there on there. I need to now add a drum machine. So I'm going to go add track, drum machine. There's my drum machine. I need to edit the drum machine pattern on drum machine by opening the MIDI editor. Let's click off of this because I'm going to delete this one because it's two of the same thing. Remember on drum machine, it, you have pre-made patterns for you. So I'm going to click on this drum machine here, go to MIDI editor. Why is it not working? Oh no, sorry, not MIDI editor. You need to go actually to instrument. That's my apologies, I've written the wrong thing. So. I need to edit the drum machine, so I'm going to do that really quickly. Let's click off all these random things. Um, I'm going to start with a hi-hat this time rather than a kick drum. So let me just make sure that's the closed hi-hat sound. Let's see what it sounds like. That's what we'll start with, yeah? I'm now going to just put in a kick drum. Okay, so I've got my drum, kick drum there. Let's try with our snares now. There we go. Let's do some floor toms. Make this into a cowbell. Okay, that's what it's going to be. I'm going to press pause on that. That is what it's going to be. Okay, let me close this. I'm now going to play it together with a sample. Let's see what that sounds like. that at the end of your piece of music it doesn't just play something like this. You need to make sure that you have your drum on loop. So you're going to click up here and you're going to have it highlighted, kind of a little kind of burgundy red from beat one to the end of beat four. Uh, and that way it's just going to loop that same piece of music that you've just done. Let's get open my assignment back up. So I have Add the drum machine. I've already edited the drum scene. I now need to edit my sample. So <coughs> I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to go to my sample, which is here. I'm actually going to label it sample so I remember what it is. Sample like this. Now I've labeled my sample. I'm going to let's click on it. So I need to click on it 
I'm going to go to where editor is at the bottom, but I need to make sure this is first highlighted. Click on it, editor, and then I should be able to see my full sample listed. I can minimize it so it's smaller or make it bigger. So I have it kind of minimized so we can see a bit more. Now, on BandLab, you can edit the pitch. You can also reverse, reverse the sample and you can change the play rate. So what I think will be cool to do is the first thing I want to do is to try and first cut up the sample. Now you'll see the different wave files. So these are the sound files, of uh, wave signals, okay, coming through from the sound. Um, so I think it'll be pretty cool to cut it up in key places where it kind of reduces. So I think it'd be good to have a cut, let's say, yeah, about there. So to cut on band lab, you're gonna go, make sure you drag your playhead. So that's your cursor where it's playing the music. So this is your playhead and drag it to where you want to cut it. Go to edit and split at the playhead. Let's do another cut, I think, if I put it, just, yeah, we'll do another one here. Again, the same thing, but you have to make sure it's highlighted, otherwise it won't cut. If you have not got it clicked and highlighted, it will not cut your piece. Let's do one more, we'll do one in a beat four. Okay, so I'm gonna go again, edit, slice the playhead. Okay, brilliant. So now we've done that around, I just, I'm going to close this just for a second. I want to see if I can change around the order. So this is the current order. I think I might have this one here, this one here. And let's see what that sounds like. bit I'm gonna even go ahead and swap these round like so just so it's different so we've changed the order of this now um, and we've split and put things around so I'm gonna go back into and highlight all of my splits now okay um, oops, sorry not my, no. I'm gonna go back into my editor but I have to make sure each one is highlighted because we've split it up now they're all different and I'm gonna change the pitch I think it'll be cool to bring the pitch down a little bit. Let's make it a little bit more, I don't know, moody, let's see. Bring the pitch down, let's see what it sounds like. Brilliant, so this is a bit of a different feel. Let's see if we take it down one more and see what this sounds like. So we're going to leave it like this. I'm also, we can also edit our piece in another way. So we first edited it by cutting it up um, our sample and changing the order. Um, we then edited it by changing the pitch. But I'm also going to reverse the whole entire piece. So if you click here, when we've got in our editor of our sample, I click reverse, I can change the complete way that it's played. So what that means, it's not reversing the order, it's reversing the actual order of the actual file itself. If I press play, let's have a listen. So that sounds way, to me, that sounds way more interesting, way better. Um, but it doesn't stop there. So the three ways we've edited our sample so far, we've split it up and cut up and reordered our sample. We have changed the pitch, we've pitched it down, in my case, um, but you can pitch it up or down, it's up to you. And I have then also reversed it. I can also change the sound quality of the sample. Now to do that, I need to make sure they're still all highlighted each different piece that I've split up. I'm gonna go to effects, and I'm gonna add a vocal effect on top. So if I click effect, it gives me a load of, uh, it gives me, sorry, a load of different vocals, uh, different vocal effects that I can add onto it. Let's go to, a delay and let's put a filter echo on it. Let's see what it sounds like. Now you'll notice that the delay increases as I go like this, it increases. So if I press play. much so isn't it sometimes you might find an effect that works and sometimes your piece just doesn't need an effect um, reverb is particularly useful for if you are recording vocals or you're using someone's voice 
it's better to use reverb on that but you can use reverb on instruments so i'm going to just leave it there because i think it's actually okay without any effects on there so i'm going to close that um and i'm now going to show you the next step so if we go to our assignment brief i've edited the sample you can cut rearrange it reverse it and change the pitch done that already um so now it's simply just i need to submit it so before i submit it i want to make sure that my piece is a little bit longer um because this is only how many seconds is this this is literally 13 seconds so i'm going to highlight my whole piece like this i'm going to right click i'm going to press copy I'm then going to drag my cursor to the correct place and then I'm going to paste it. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to paste it. One, two, three, let's do four. So we've got four copies of the same thing. Now this time I want to try and bring in slowly the piece. So I'm going to get rid of the whole bit of drums for the first bar. So it will sound and take off the loop as well. slight cut out of the drums here but I don't want to delete my whole drum file I just want to delete a section of it so, I'm doing. so I'm gonna take the piece to three have a bit where it cuts out now to shorten a drum piece you literally can just drag and I want to have a cut here so what I've done is I've, instead of having this as four, which it was, I've dragged it down by just pulling the end of it and pulling it to, moving it along so that there's a point where the music drops out for a bar and comes back in. So let's have a listen what that sounds like. <laughs> I've done this year nine is it makes the piece more interesting if we have the same piece uh, instruments and music playing throughout there is no variety whereas if I layer and drop in instruments and add them in and add them in at different times it makes the piece more interesting so I'm gonna save this first of all just so it's all here save I'm gonna check my assignment brief and make sure I've done yeah, everything so I'm gonna press submit I can add a note when I submit it And I'm just going to put student exam example. You guys are able as well to see this example. You won't be able to see the whole file, but you'll be able to hear my example. Okay, submit. Once it's submitted, it'll just take a bit of time. And it will load like this. So once it's submitted like this, um, I, I will get it. It's got the assignment on the thing. And what happens here is just processing. So you can hear it and see what it sounds like. Um, I want to show you one more thing before I go. So, for instance, you make a piece that you really like and you want to download it as your own file, as your own MP3, you can do that. So what you do is go to Open Mix Editor. So what you can do is you can go to File, you go Download, and you go Mix Down As. And what that does is it downloads and mixes the whole uh, piece of music so all together as a collection and creates kind of what we would or have a competition as a song. So it's really useful tool to have. I'm just going to show you to, while it downloads so you can see. Okay, now I can either download this high quality, medium quality, it depends what I feel like. The best type of quality is a web file. Um, but just to give you an example, I'm just going to do a regular medium quality MP3. <laughs> Come in. 